hi guys welcome back to beauty with ty so this video here is gonna be a nobody's gonna know how would they know type of video hi guys welcome back to beauty with ty so i'm gonna show you guys how cheap this look you know a real cute half up half down this style is nothing new but it is trending again all over the place so i decided to jump on the bandwagon and do this style i didn't have any curly bundles so your girl used a wig this is a wig honey so maybe this is just an invitation for you to click the link down below and go purchase this wig or to go dig up your old wig and create this style this is 24 inches and this is their loose wave hair but I kind of flat ironed a little bit to kind of get like this water wave look. And for real, I'm not even going to hold you guys because this style took me a good little minute. Definitely about five hours. But I also freestyled and did designs at the top. So that's what took up a lot of time as well. I'm able to like finger detangle my hair. So I'm not going to add any product or anything to it. All right, you guys, let's get into this beautiful packaging, wig cap, headband, and they sent me a bonnet. Too cute. I love their color scheme. Here is my closure wig that we will be working with today. This is the loose wave curl pattern, very defined, and that is the closure where the lace is. If you do wear this as a lace unit, you will have to bleach your knots, so keep that in mind. All right, y'all, so I see. So I already braided it back down. Okay, y'all, so we already go to the beach and I wanna do my hair in this half up, half down style so bad. I already take this wig and sew it in in the back, you know, as a closure. But I'm not gonna cut my lace, fold this lace over and sew it down in the back. I've never done this style with a wig before. Okay, I'm gonna use some of my hair oil to moisturize my scalp before I sew it in, girl. All right, I'm just sew this on the best I know how. Okay. All right, so this was the lace stop. I'm just a makeup on this. And right here, I folded the lace under so that I will be able to sew it down and not cut the lace off, you know. All right, so I'm gonna sew all the way around it and I'm gonna open it up and sew in between. That's my plan. Okay, so the first part of this process, I'm showing you guys in real time. I understand a lot of people do know how to sew and I don't even know how to sew correctly, but I know how to get it on my head to where it stays. So um, I'm just showing you guys somewhat in real time how it was because your girl was struggling a little bit. Um, just make sure you take your time and just take your time and sew it down. That's all the advice I can really give. I kind of wish I would have done like an anchor braid, like one braid going from ear to ear and then the cornrows going down so that it will be easier to sew the top part of it down. It is on here. I could stop here, but I'm gonna sew it a little bit more. We're going to the beach and uh, I don't need this floating in the ocean. Okay, so really quick, I'm showing you guys, I'm going in between the wig and, you know, sewing it down right there. All I'm doing is pulling it through twice and then I'm tying a knot. That's all I did. And I did that like five different spots in the back. That was one spot and I went to another spot and that was it. <laughs> Now I'm going to just freestyle the top. I'm not even going to talk through it because I have no clue how I'm braiding it. I'm just ready to braid it. But I can not show y'all the type of hair I'm using. It's by Freetress. Here's my 24 hour edge tamer. Use my Shears Bomb Goo. And this is going to give me a really tight hold on my braids. Okay, so here at the top, like I said, I'm just going to freestyle. I'm putting jam in between my parts so I can make sure that my parts are nice and neat and straight for this style. Let me give y'all a little background story about me. So 
I started braiding hair when I was like in the fourth grade. No lie, I was like 11 years old braiding other people's hair because I used to braid my own hair in like um, third grade. I remember sitting in class and like practicing on my hair because I would wear my hair up at the top and leave the back down. And I would sit in class and I taught myself how to braid in class. I would literally sit there and just braid my hair. So (laughs) I started to do other people's hair because my older sister used to do hair at home as well. I never did her client's hair. However, I would do maybe their kid's hair if they came over with them or just being out and about and word going around, I would do other people's hair and I would get referrals. So I just think that is so funny that I've been working since day one, baby. I have been on these two feet, moving these fingers around since I was 10, 11 years old. And that continued all the way up until I went to high school. Well, college, really. I used to do people here in college as well. I'm talking about y'all every single weekend. I had like two, three clients doing kinky twists. You know, that took like five, six hours. Or I used to freestyle on all the dude's hair, on my sister hair, on the basketball team. Just so many memories. (laughs) All done. Finally, it's been like two and a half hours. (laughs) Just on the top. Okay, this wig is 24 inches, but the curls are like really tight. They look really cute, but I'm gonna run my butt irons through my hair to kind of calm the curls down to fit the look I'm going for. It's like it's so curly, it's tangling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, give me that wavy look. Okay, yeah, so much better. (laughs) Yes, now this hair looks so much better. This is probably how it was at first, and that's how they need to leave it. And I'm gonna spray a lot of rat lotion and holding spray. Before I wrap my hair up for the night, Boom, beach ready. All right, you guys, so it is the next morning. Let's see what it looks like. Take a little bit of my hair oil. Okay, so you kind of see how they're kind of sticking up on the side. Whatever, I don't like it. So I'm just going to like sew these together going down. And then I took one of my braids from this side. See, I took this braid right here and just put it across this side so you can't see like where my part is at. Okay, this is the completed look. Peace. Okay. All right, so we just got back from the beach. I'm going to cut this out. All right, three days later, after swimming in the ocean every single day for three days, this is what my hair looks like. The ends, they look bomb, still have a nice luster to it, not really tangled. Them roots, baby, that top. Oh, honey, it was getting matted. I combed it like the first day after I got out the ocean, but that was it. I didn't touch it anymore, so this is the aftermath of me just letting it flow. Okay? Oh, that black string? Yeah. Like, just put the string on the scissors and then cut up. You gotta probably pick it up with your... Move your... Move your thing on. Yeah, you want me to cut that black string, I'll right? I'm gonna cut all the string that's attached. Damn it. Turn that one to the Not, didn't you? Okay, if you can't get that one, you can, like, this part here. Go ahead. Watch out. Watch out. 
Move. I did not. I sound so thick. Ouch. Ouch. Oh. Oh. Yeah. You just fucking stink ass shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the fuck. Hanging on. Yeah, get this shit off. I can't see the thread. Got it. All right, that man, who child, me and period. But listen, this is how this wig, <laughs> honey, that wig has been going through it. It was a little matted, but I did wash and condition it, and now it's silky smooth again. All right, see you guys next time. Peace out.